Now let's look at this figure 21-22 uh, that deals with gas uh, combustion detection systems in accordance with uh, 500.7K uh, and these systems are defined in Article 100 Part 3. But notice they can be used in a number of ways like one, ventilation, valve control, uh, you know, uh, optical, uh, say optical signaling, remote transmission, gas uh, detectors, acoustical, remote signaling, ventilation, uh, electrical operated valves, remote communication. Notice all the areas that uh, this pre-wiring alarm system could be used in an area that that is classified. But now notice when I apply 500.7K and use combustible gas detection systems, I can't reclassify the area. But I can use equipment that would not be uh, like class one division one. If I use these uh, this type of a system in a class one division one, I can use class one division two equipment and in some cases, uh, I could be in an unclassified, uh, or in a class one division two area and uh, use equipment that's not even uh, classified under certain installation requirements. But notice that it's used quite extensive in our industry. Uh, if you're in the uh, oil industry, the API 500 and API 13.02, addresses uh, these systems in, uh, uh, in detail and their use. Uh, the ANSI standard 12.13.01 uh, also gives you more bolts and nuts concerning uh, gas uh, detection systems uh, in combustible type areas. Now, you notice at 500.7K, one through three, I believe it is, will address these systems uh, where they can be used. Now, you can uh, also get into Volume 1, the Stockholm's Electrical Design Book, and pick up more information about uh, these uh, combustible gas detection systems. But I really like the API 500 to explain a lot of, uh, about these systems. You know, at about 20%, of a mixture of a, a vapor gas, you have to detect it. And then at 40%, you shut the system down. And then, you know, sometimes engineers will play with that percentage based upon the age of the equipment. And, uh, and when I say the age of the equipment, you know, where the equipment is operating to do a particular uh, job uh, function. Uh, they may vary with that a little bit or even make it more uh, pick up earlier. But the API 500 uh, along that 13.02 uh, uh, right in that area goes through these rules. And now the NEC lists these rules, but these rules came out of the API 500 and were embedded into the NEC for folks that didn't really know about the API 500 and the information uh, that's available there. So that's what this figure 21-22 uh, is illustrating to the user of the NEC is combustion gas detection systems and how you can use them uh, in a classified uh, area. So uh, kind of keep that in mind, but if you're going to use these systems, to get a real good handle on uh, the bolts and nuts, go to the API 500 and go to the ANSI ISA standard 12.13.01. And I think you'll have the information there to make a, uh, a installations that's safe, usable, and dependable.